There are over a million restaurants in America. Over 50% of them are owned by baby boomers. An average baby boomer is 66 years old. Average retirement age in America is 63. You see the problem here? Let's see what a restaurant is worth. Hi, I'm Bharat Kinodia. I have valued over 2,000 businesses, including casinos, malls, airports, and large tech companies like Uber and Airbnb. My videos educate owners on what their business is worth. Is running a restaurant like how they show in the movies? Think Robert De Niro from Casino, walking around and greeting guests. No way even close. Owning and running a restaurant is like a never-ending marathon that goes on seven days a week. I know, I used to own one. There are three things that are changing the restaurant industry as we speak. One, stay connected. Restaurants that limit themselves to the brick and mortar experience eventually perish. POS systems that integrate with delivery apps increase revenue. Digital marketing activities and online reviews expand your target audience. Two, healthy, tasty, and fast. Between serving healthy food, tasty dishes, and fast service, most restaurants can only do two consistently. But the closer you come to doing all three consistently, the better. Three, local and sustainable. Despite popular belief, eco-friendly and profitable are not mutually exclusive. If your customers witness that you are there for the local farmers, businesses, and suppliers while being conscious of the environment, they will recognize it and reward you with their loyalty. Obviously, so long as your food quality and service stays consistent. Rule of thumb. Tell me if you've heard any of these before. Your food cost should be 25 to 30 percent of total sales. 60 percent of floor space should be reserved for seating. You should keep five to seven days worth of inventory. These are more guidelines than rules that you can use to maximize your restaurant's profits. This graphic will help you understand how to value a restaurant. Restaurant valuations are primarily dependent on two factors. One is the complexity of the restaurant, which is depicted here on the x-axis. As a restaurant goes from a full service to a bar, to a cafe or an ice cream parlor. And the second factor that affects restaurant valuation is overall volume or revenue. As the restaurant goes from zero to 350,000 to a million dollars to two million dollars. So say you're running a full service restaurant. Full service restaurant valuations are in this column. Say if your revenue is a million dollars. Full service restaurant, million dollars. You are looking at a multiple anywhere between 0.2 and 0.3x. So $1 million times 0.2 and 0.3, your valuation is between 200,000 and 300,000. If you're running a franchise restaurant, add about 10 to 15% to these multiples. Why? Franchisors help franchisees run their restaurants on autopilot by helping them with suppliers, operations, systems, and marketing. There are three factors that can help you maximize your restaurant's value. One, customer loyalty. How many of your customers return? 20%, 50%. A good indicator that you have a stable base is 60% repeat customers while still receiving new opportunities daily. Work on making your current customers raving fans and your business will only grow faster. Two, lease. Lease can be 20 to 40% of your revenue and is the biggest expense for most businesses. Ideally, you should set up a proper POS system and renegotiate your lease terms to convert them to revenue sharing. This way, your landlord is your partner in success. Three, online presence. It is crucial 
to manage your online footprint. Google reviews, Yelp, and TripAdvisor go hand in hand with food delivery services like Grubhub, Uber Eats, and DoorDash. Remember, home delivery customers also give reviews. Four, presentation. There are many restaurants with great food. The restaurants that know how to package and present their offerings in an enticing manner win each time. This applies to both dine-in and delivery customers. Mark Twain once said, part of the secret to success is to eat what you like and let the food fight it out on the inside. Successful chefs and restaurateurs make the food that they like and share it with their customers. Simple. Who knew life's golden rule will show up here? Restaurants are a noble business that bring people together and serve them food that nourishes their body and soul. Seriously, tell me, which business can top that? Thanks for watching.